Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today I'm talking about the seashore from season six. If you're enjoying these, please do like, subscribe, and I will be back with more, so feel free to hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post another one. In this episode, Miss Mamie and Miss Emily have come to ask John if he might be able to help them in arranging to build a screened-in porch on a cottage that they have by the seashore. The whole Walton family decides that they will use this as an opportunity to take a little vacation. The Walton men will build the screened-in porch and Olivia will get to have a little vacation and Elizabeth and Aaron will help taking care, making meals and being sort of the support for the men as they do the work. Mary Ellen doesn't get to go because she is very pregnant and Kurt basically says, you know, you're with the baby due soon. No, you're not traveling. So I didn't get to go on that actual official location shoot, but I believe I did stop by the set just to see what was going on and enjoy the atmosphere and, you know, the fun that was happening. It's always great to I enjoy being on locations. I think it's fun, especially when you have a great location, like the beach, come on, who doesn't want to get up and go to work at the beach? <laughs> Although I'm sure it's a complete pain for the crew because dealing with sand and the equipment and everything and lugging things around, it's not easy to move in the sand. So not the easiest for the crew, but certainly a beautiful spot to get to film. I believe the location used for the seashore was actually in Malibu along the California coastline. There was an area called Paradise Cove that was frequently used for film and television locations and I believe it was some section of that that was used where this um, cottage of Miss Mamie and Miss Emily's was and and the pier and everything that you see in um, along the shore there. The Waltons um, encounter a young woman. Elizabeth first sees her with binoculars watching a Coast Guard ship. And Elizabeth, who is very much into spies and conspiracies and all of that, decides that she's probably a spy. Of course, she's not a spy, but uh, she is hiding some sort of secret. She's been staying. She basically, I guess, broke in, somehow got into the Baldwin's house and has been staying there. The Waltons Olivia, feeling that the girl has nowhere else to go, says, well, for now, you'll continue to stay here. She doesn't feel that the girl is dangerous in any way, so she makes her feel welcome, you know. And Jason forms a real friendship with her because it turns out that she is studying music at William & Mary, so they have a lot in common. He follows her to make sure she's okay and, and finds her at a local club during the day where she's just playing the piano for for her own enjoyment. So they share a few scenes there at that location, talking music and bonding over their common love. We're in 1940 and the war in Europe is escalating. We hear several news reports about the advancement of the Germans into different countries and approaching France and Paris and that, that the fall of Paris is imminent. Grandpa, recites part of Winston Churchill's speech about Dunkirk and they talk a bit about the all the ships and everything that went over to try and and rescue as many soldiers as possible from Dunkirk. Lisa seems to be very distressed by this information and runs off. Nobody quite knows what's going on, but it's clear that this news was upsetting to her. Very cute bit where uh, Jim Bob has found this boat. I don't know where he's supposed to have found it, but he has taken it out. And and then John, Jason, wants to take Lisa out in the boat. So Jim Bob says, yeah, the oar locks, there's a problem with them. But, you know, they decide to take the boat out. As they're launching it, uh, John, the, the surf comes up over his shoes and socks and pants. And he's like, it's cold, it's cold. And the Pacific Ocean I'm sorry, for me, pretty much any time of the year it is cold. So I think that was a just <laughs> a real reaction from John about suddenly having the surf up and in his shoes. I was like, oh my goodness, he's wearing his shoes, poor guy. They do take the boat out and have a problem with, with the oars and end up being picked up by the 
the Coast Guard boat and interrogated on the Coast Guard ship. And there is some question about the about Lisa's origins. And although she says she's British, somebody's one of the men says, oh, yeah, I think there's a German accent in there someplace. We later come to learn that indeed Lisa and her parents were originally from Austria and they immigrated to England and became British citizens. And there's a, a beautiful moment where Lisa's talking about her father and how proud he was to become a, a British citizen and taking his oath to defend the country. And, and that led to him being as a doctor at Dunkirk trying to help and, and being drowned in one of the boats um, involved in that rescue operation. Ben has a fun subplot in this episode. He has volunteered to stay home and take care of everything around the house while everyone else is gone. Feed the animals, whatever work needs to be done around the house. He is hoping that he will get to spend time with Darlene, who he's clearly looking to form a relationship with. Darlene is played by actress Melody Thomas, who appeared in a few episodes as the character Darlene and always loved having her. She went on to star in The Young and the Restless for years and years and years. Um, I mentioned once before that I worked with Melody when we were both young kids on an episode of the short-lived series, The Tammy Grimes Show. So it was great to work with Melody again. Ben keeps getting interrupted or diverted from his plans to try and get together with Darlene. He goes to try and call to uh, confirm a date and Corbeth and Sissy comes to dinner. So Ben's plans for that evening are kaput. Then uh, the Baldwin ladies come by and want Ben to drive them to Charlottesville because one of the other Walton men was going to, and then now they're all at the seashore. And so Ben feels obligated to drive them. And he's kind of, but Darlene, and they say, well, bring her and we'll all have ice cream. And, and then he finally thinks he's going to get to spend some time with her. They're having lemonade. They're sitting on the couch and Mary Ellen comes by. So in frustration, he finally just goes and joins the family at the seashore. Uh, so tough, tough one for, for poor Ben and, and his, his hope that he will have, you know, be able to pursue this relationship with Darlene. This final sequence when Jason is saying goodbye to Lisa at the bus station, I'm pretty sure was shot in two locations. Uh, every time you see Lisa, behind her is the beach and the surf. When it turns around, every time you see John, he is, there's a street behind him with a hotel and the little club where Lisa was playing and the bus. I'm pretty sure that they shot these in the two locations that they shot all of Lisa's close-ups and uh, over the shoulders, over, over Jason onto her at the beach location. And then back on the back lot at Warner Brothers, they did all the reverses that showed John with Lisa over her shoulder and, and what was going on there. Uh, same thing with the location for the club when we saw the exterior of the club where she then walked off and onto the sand. But you never saw both together in the same shot. You did not see a wide shot where you saw both the bus and the beach or the club and the beach. They were always edited um, separately. So that is kind of where I went, yeah, I'm pretty sure they shot those in the two different locations. I hope you've enjoyed this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons about the Seashore episode from season six. Please do join me again for more episodes and for me taking more of your questions in an Ask Judy segment. Until then, thanks for watching.